We all know the sun sets in the west. Living on the east coast, I never had the chance to see the sunset over the water until my family and I took a week-long vacation in Perth, Western Australia during Easter break. Perth, Western Australia is approximately a five-hour flight from my hometown in New South Wales, Australia, and is famous for its beaches, haunted jail, and being home to the quokka, often called the happiest animal in the world, all of which were the highlights of my vacation, which is why we'll be talking about them today. Cottesloe Beach is the most popular beach in the state of Western Australia for activities like swimming, snorkeling and surfing. Often the media exaggerates two parts of beach culture in Australia. One, the beauty, and two, the risk of shark attacks. However, neither of these points are exaggerated when it comes to Cottesloe Beach. Despite being notorious for shark sightings and attacks, the water is a clear turquoise blue and the sand a pearly white. The temperature warm, but not hot. At sunset, the water would reflect the orange and pinks of the sky as the sun seemed to sink into the water itself. This kind of beauty was not limited to Cottesloe Beach though. My family and I were lucky enough to witness the same views at Rottnest Island, an island off the coast of Western Australia, a half hour boat ride away. We spent the, the day on the island snorkeling at multiple different spots along the coast and hiking along the coastline trails. It was the first time I had snorkeled and being able to see the coral and many different types of fish was definitely an unforgettable experience. The wildlife was also something I had never experienced before. Rottnest Island is famous for being the only place where quokkas live. The marsupials, similar to that of a kangaroo except smaller, roam the island as commonly as, commonly as squirrels do around Ohio University and are more than comfortable with the large number of crowds that visit the island. Just as much as Rottnest Island is a tourist destination, so is the Fremantle Prison, a jail that was once in use but now just serves as a place of history, mainly for tours as Western Australia's only World Heritage listed building. The tour that we went on took us around what were once cells, dining halls and punishment yards, with stories to go in with each room. Punishment was a strong thing with the tour, a sobering reminder of what prison used to be like in convict times. Although I now live much further away from Perth than I used to, the memories I have from my vacation are still strong and very, very fond. Given the chance, I would love to revisit some of the places I was lucky enough to see, as well as explore more of the attractions that Perth has to offer.